Hi, my name is Josh McLean. I'm the Senior Product Support Manager for Source Fabric, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on how to broadcast uh, live with airtime using the Master and Show Source. So, the first thing that I'd like to talk about is how exactly this feature works. So, most programs that you're going to be using to broadcast can either connect to um, Icecast or Shoutcast servers directly, which is the feature that you're going to actually use to connect to airtime. So, like, for example, I'm going to be using Mix today, and what I'm going to do is instead of connecting to uh, the Icecast server directly, I'm going to connect to airtime, and airtime is going to go ahead and uh, pass that along to the Icecast server. So I'll be able to interrupt the uh, scheduled broadcast that's on airtime and take it over and do a live broadcast. Um, in this case using Mix, but you can use a variety of other tools. Uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of those at the end of this, but uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the master source. So the master source will uh, always override any, any broadcast that's going on. So you can use these credentials to interrupt your broadcast at any time. Uh, because of that reason, you want to be pretty careful with who you give uh, the information to, just because they can then take over your radio station um, anytime, anytime that they want. So the first thing you got to do is you have to go into System and Streams, which is where I am right now. And there you're going to find uh, your master source connection URL. So it's going to be, there's actually more past this at .pro, so you have to, um, in this case, triple click it. I'm using Windows, but whatever, whatever you need to do to get the entire thing highlighted, because there is text beyond this end part here um, on the .pro. Uh, and as I said, in this case, we're going to be using Mix today. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up Mix, and then we're going to go into Options and Preferences. Um, normally what I like to do, you don't have to do this, is I like to paste the entire uh, URL down here in description and then copy and paste it piece by piece into, into the top part. So right here, our first thing's host, and what that's looking for is just the address of uh, where our IceCast server is at, or in this case, where our um, airtime server is. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And then we're using port 8001. And then this last part here is our mount point. Now, username and password you're going to find um, are going to be set in the stream settings. Now these, uh, I believe, can only be set by administrators. So we're going to leave it as source. And I'll talk about that in a second. And then we're going to change the master password to something I actually know and click Save. So we're going to go back and our login is source and our password, we're going to put that in right there. So the reason that we use source is because, um, in, for example, Mix will actually ask for a login information for an IceCast server, but a lot of other programs don't actually ask for a login when they try to connect. And what they're going to try and use as the login is the word source. So that's usually the safest username to use. I also recommend using that in your show source as well, depending on what your DJs are using to broadcast. So we have all of our uh, credentials in now. And I'm going to go ahead and try and enable live broadcasting. Now, just a second, I'm going to go ahead and check this auto switch to we're going to uncheck that there too. Okay. So options, and here we go. Um, as you can see, I'm now connected to the master source. Now, if I flip this switch right here in airtime, um, mix is going to go on air, and I'll be able to uh, go ahead and DJ live. Now, you can um, check these two boxes here auto switch off and auto switch on. Now, what that's going to do is anytime that somebody's connected, if auto switch on is checked, as soon as they're connected, this will go live. And auto switch off anytime they disconnect, they'll um, you'll you'll revert back to the next one down. So in this case, scheduled play. Now I recommend having uh, auto switch off checked, but not auto switch on. So right now, uh, Mix is just playing this song. It's sending it to Airtime, and then Airtime's passing it along to our IceCast server. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then disconnect the master source here and then we're going to go ahead and go off air. But you can still see that this is actually 
uh, it's still connected. So if we wanted to, we could switch back on. Now it's switching back over to uh, scheduled play right now. Um, now, one of the other things is if you notice something's connected and you don't think it should be or you want to um, you want to make room so you can connect, like somebody forgot to disconnect after they got done broadcasting, you can click this X right here and it's going to go ahead and boot the person off of this connection. So now I have been disconnected from Mix. Mix doesn't know that yet, but we'll just go ahead and disable. There you go. Just successfully disconnected. So now there's nothing connected to the master source, and it'll go back to uh, schedule plug. So that's how you're going to go ahead and connect to the uh, master master source. I'm going to go over uh, just a quick overview of that right now. So you're going to go ahead and take the master source connection URL from there, uh, and then break it down into these live broadcast settings of whichever whichever piece of software that you're using. Now you have to paste the whole thing out. This last part right here is the mount point. This guy's the port, and this is the address. So you're gonna and then find your master username and master password, and that's what you're gonna use for login and password. Now the next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, the show source, which is a little bit more complicated than the master source. Not much though. So the difference here is that the show source is actually only active for connection when uh, you enable it on the on the show. So for example, right now, let's go to the calendar. Uh, Alright, so today's the 10th and this is the show we're currently on. Uh, I can't edit it because it's currently on air, so uh, I'll just have to show you how to set it up on this next show that starts in a few hours. So I'll go ahead and click here, and I will click uh, Edit Show. You want to go down to Live Stream Input and use Custom Authentication. You can see I set something up for that earlier just to make sure it was working. So um, you're going to want to use uh, the Custom Authentication is what I would recommend. Now the Airtime Authentication just uses their username and their password for Airtime, but if they're using something that doesn't allow them a username field, they won't be able to connect. So what I would do is I would always use the username source and then each DJ I would give a custom password to. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and click Update Show. Now um, later on if you have those login credentials between uh, these times, you'll be able to connect and broadcast live. Now, you don't uh, have the same sort of access the master source does, and that it's only going to be active during those times. And I'll show you that in a second. So, the place where you find the uh, connection information is the same spot you find the master source one, except it's just right under it in the show source connection URL. So go ahead and copy that, and we'll go to the same place in um, Mix. Now you'll notice the only thing that actually changes right here is the mount point. So we'll go ahead and change that. Now I, I have the I have the settings set the same. So we're going to go ahead and click Enable Live Broadcasting, and this isn't going to work. Yeah, see, it's going to give me a uh, username and password error. So the reason that that didn't work is because that show currently isn't on. So the show source isn't enabled. So even though I have those credentials set up for the future, they don't work right now. Now, if it was during when that show was scheduled, you'd see this thing light up, and then I could switch it over, and I'd be able to go live, just like I did before. Um, so that, that's how you use the master and show source to do live shows uh, with Airtime. And I guess in, in this case, Airtime Pro, because this is how uh, the source and master connection URLs look for us when we do that. Now, uh, I said that I was going to talk a little bit about uh, a couple different pieces of software that you can use. Now, um, I was showing you Mix for, for this, because that's the it's open source DJ software. Um, it's what I use to test if our live our live stuff's working or not, um, and it's it's really good. Uh, now the second piece of software that I would probably recommend is actually called Butt B U T T broadcast using this tool. Now what Butt is especially good at is since it takes all of the audio that's going on locally on your PC and it'll ship it to airtime 
which will let you send things like Skype conversations uh, if you're doing talk radio over to Airtime, or you just want to use some sort of DJing software that um, isn't isn't able to connect to an IceCast or Shoutcast server. Now, I had mentioned before that there was software that doesn't give you a username field, and this is one of them. So these are where you would plug in the credentials for but, but there's no there's no username field. This name up here is just what you're going to call it in this server, so you can give it whatever name you want, that doesn't matter, but it's only got address, port, password, and mount point. So it it doesn't let you plug that username in. So if you don't have it set to source, something like but won't be able to connect. Um, it's what I recommend for Windows and Linux if you're um, if you're looking to do something like that. It also works on Mac, um, and I, I guess I would recommend it for that too, but if you're if you're using Mac, you also have the option of uh, NiceCast, which I personally haven't used at all, but I know a lot of our users uh, prefer that for um, Mac talk radio broadcasting and stuff like that. So I'd also recommend checking that up. Just go ahead and um, Google NiceCast and um, you'll find it. Now uh, that's that's all I really have for you right now. Um, as I said, my name is Josh McLean. Uh, feel free to contact me. My email is right there, and um, I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction, whether it's forums or just answering a quick question if you have any questions about uh, getting this working. Thank you very much.